All right, so when was the last time you took a day to get the entire family involved in clearing the clutter in your garage and making some extra cash from the stuff you own but you don't want anymore? And what about reinvesting your garage sale earnings back into the garage? Well, if you need help with that and you just don't know where to start, we have the perfect person to go to for advice. Master builder and home improvement expert Carl Champley joins us from New York with some ways to get the most out of your garage sale and life afterwards. Carl, thanks for being with us. Well, thanks, Danielle, for letting me be on the show. Sure. Well, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background in the home improvement arena. You've got about 12 hours. Well, basically myself, I'm, I'm a little further south from, uh, from where you are, from Sydney, Australia, and uh, I've been in the home improvement business for about 26 years. Can you believe it? I started as an apprenticeship when I was 16 and became a master builder and um, also became a high-rise uh, consultant and building consultant, blah, blah, blah. And out of all things, I came over to the US to do a film, out of all things, can you believe it? And um, I got tied up with doing these home improvement shows. And it's funny, I actually really, I really enjoy doing them because I've kind of taken on the teacher's role and I'm sharing all this experience I've learned over the last 26 years and hopefully not too many bad habits. And uh, that's kind of led me to where I am today. Good stuff. Well, so tell me, what does it take to hold a successful garage sale? This is something I'm thinking about doing myself, but I really don't know what to do and, and how much money I can really make. Okay. Well, you'd be surprised. You can actually make some serious money with a garage sale because, you know, today people are buying, because of the economy, they're buying a lot of tools, they're buying a lot of building equipment. I had a garage sale recently. Everyone bypassed what I had for sale and went down the end of the garage where I had these old windows and doors and I was about to say, listen, I'm throwing that out. And they said, well, how much can we buy that for? The successful way to get all this happening is to get everything out of the garage and create piles. You know, you want to get some piles for items that you're going to sell, recyclable piles, um, a pile, hopefully it's small, to keep. And don't forget about a charitable organization like Habitat for Humanity because those guys are fantastic because they can come and give you a receipt for the value of the goods and you can claim that against your tax at the end of the year. So that's often a good way to go if a lot of um, your viewers don't really want to have a garage sale. They'll come in and take a lot of that stuff away. All right, so if you have a garage sale, what do you suggest we do with the garage sale profits? Okay, well, there's some great systems out there. I really recommend, uh, this is a particular system I really like. Um, it's a slat wall type system, and you'll see that there's these clips and brackets that go on and can pretty much hang anything, whether you're into sports or home improvement projects. And this stuff is really durable. See, it sits in like that. I can hang myself off the wall. So you could throw a brick at this stuff and it's not going to damage it, but it's a modular system. Um, these cabinets are kind of cool because they hang. And if you see, they're all lockable. So if you've got all these flammable liquids, for example, you know, the garage is now a safe place to be. These are great little um, um, tools to have because, you know, they're workbenches, they're on rollers, you can roll them around. And if you notice what I'm walking on, there's some great products out there now that can cover up that nasty garage floor. And now that you've moved all the stuff out there, you can look at the floor and think, well, wow, what am I going to do? It's cracked, it's greasy, it's oily. This stuff is inexpensive. You can pick it up in the morning and by the end of the day, you can create a really beautiful transformation and really, really give the place an uplift. Um, check this out too. This is an appliance that's been built for the garage. Sounds like a good plan. And so where can we go to get more information? Okay, there's a good website, it's called gladiatorgw.com. I like that because there's a blueprint estimator. You can click on that and take all the dimensions from your own garage, put that into the website, and you can build up your own garage and visually see what the outcome can be. And when that happens, there's a motivation to do it. All right, well, thank you so much for helping us improve our lives today. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.